Okay, the next part of the lab, we are going to be finding the density of this key. Now, the problem with this key is it's two different materials. The key part is metal and the tab is plastic. So it's gonna be an average density of, of this particular item. So uh, to do so, as you know, we are still gonna use mass divided by volume. So we need to find the key's mass. So I'll put the key on the garage, or on the balance, the balance. We'll let it, the electronic balance is telling us that it's 11.5 grams. So write that down. That's your, your mass. The next thing we need to find, the, vo the volume of it. Well, it's not a regular shape. So uh, this particular key, uh, we need to figure out a way to find the volume. And if you recall, we used an overflow can last time. I've got water in this overflow can so that if I put anything in it, water will come out the spout. So let me get this thing set up so you can see it. And uh, I'm going to catch the water that comes out of the spout. Look at that. I'm going to catch the water that comes out of the spout in a graduated cylinder and see how big this key is. So here we go. You may recall uh, doing this in a lab earlier this year. I'm just wanting to remind you because you'll have to be finding density of different things for labs in the future. Okay, I think it's done pouring. Now, the problem with this graduated cylinder is that it is only measured in one milliliter. So when you record your answer, you can only put something in the ones place because your measuring instrument is not more accurate than that. So when you look at this on a flat surface, uh, you'll see that it's three milliliters, three milliliters. It's not 3.0 because the measuring instrument doesn't go to uh, tenths. So it's only three milliliters. So now you'll put those numbers in uh, your math problem, mass divided by volume. The mass was 11.5, I think. I lost where I wrote it down. Uh, yeah, 11.5 grams. And the uh, volume was three milliliters, not 3.0 because our measuring instrument doesn't measure to the tenth of a milliliter. Uh, anyway, so go ahead and do the math and put your answer in.